Okay, so today we're going to do an oil change on this 2007 Saturn Ion. We'll be putting in this mobile 5W30 full synthetic engine oil and Champ oil filter. But before we do that, we're going to take a sample of this oil and send it in for an oil analysis. Then after a few months, we'll compare this virgin oil to the used oil. We'll also open up this oil filter and see what that looks like. So that should keep us pretty busy. So let's get started. This is a for you gotta glue the silicone in a nice pipe. Get your inner ear filtration right in the ear. Okay, so it's been about four months and the Saturn is down about a quart of oil. So time for an oil and filter change. She went 4,101 miles. We'll get a sample to send in to the lab to get an oil analysis. We'll also take out the filter and see what it caught. There she goes. Okay, here's the used Champ oil filter. When the oil results come in, we'll cut open the filter and see what it caught. We'll also compare the new and used oil analysis test results on this Mobile One oil. Be right back. Okay, the oil test results are in, but let's take a quick look at this used filter that was in there. The Champ made filter number P3244, and it's a product of USA. And you can get these at Rock Auto for $1.86 plus shipping. And it counted 56 pleats. The micron rating is it captures particles down to 30 microns and is a cellulose media. And that looks like the seam right there. And I might have over tightened the cap a little bit because of this. And it got a little like squished. I usually mark the caps you know with a like a dab of paint or even some light and nail polish but i didn't do it that time so um i might over tighten it just a little bit you got to really just just snug these guys well i say let's cut this filter open and see what it caught be right back okay here are the oil reports freeze this if you want to compare the virgin mobile oil analysis to the used mobile oil analysis. Okay, so let's go to the oil test results. This sample here is the virgin oil sample that I sent in of the mobile oil. And I'm not going to read all this, but basically it's just saying it's a good oil to use. You can freeze it and read it if you want. And you know, the numbers are all down here, which I have right here also. Okay, so in this left column, we have the virgin mobile oil sample. And in this column here, we have the oil sample that was taken after it was used. And this column here was a previous sample of oil that I tested with Chevron oil. It was a Chevron semi-synthetic 5W30. The car went 3,652 miles with the Chevron, and it went 4,101 miles with the mobile. So these numbers are going to be a little off. Not the same amount of mileage, but it's like about 450 miles difference. But we'll compare them anyways. So you got five for the mobile, four for the Chevron. Chromium is one with the Chevron is zero. Iron is 20 with the Chevron is 11. And actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the universal up on the screen. Copper was five with the Chevron is two. Lead is zero across the board. 10 was 1 with the Chevron, it was 0. The Molly Denim was 76 with the Mobile, 208 with Chevron. A lot more Molly Denim with the Chevron. The Magnes was 1, Chevron was 0, and 0, 0, 0. Potassium was 2, and the Chevron was 0. And you can see the Mobile Virgin Oil sample, the numbers here. So put these down, you can compare them. So we left off at the potassium. So boron is 54 with the chevron of 69. Silicon was 4. 
the mobile and seven for the Chevron. Sodium is four for the mobile and six for the Chevron. Calcium is 1,004 for the mobile, 1,104 for the Chevron. Magnesium was 670 and 412 for the Chevron. Phosphorus was 669 for the mobile and 600 for the Chevron. Zinc was 776 with the mobile and 682 with the Chevron. These numbers ain't too much off. The biggest number I see that's off is the Molly Dem. With the mobile having 76 and the Chevron having 208. So you could freeze those in and look at them. And then come down here and look at the viscosities. Okay, so we come to the viscosity numbers. And the mobile virgin oil sample was 61.3. And that's at 210 Fahrenheit. The U sample was 55.2. And the Chevron sample was 56.1. And we come to the 100 Celsius. The mobile virgin oil sample was 10.58. The U sample was 8.82. And the Chevron sample was 9.10. Okay, the virgin oil sample for the mobile had a flash point of 440. The U sample had a flash point of 395, and the Chevron had a flash point of 425. So that tells me there probably was some fuel dilution there going on because of the extra 450 miles. And we look at the fuel here, it's minus 0 0.5, they're both the same. Antifreeze, nothing. Insoluble is 0.2, they're both 0.2. TBN, 3.4. For the used mobile it started off as 7.6 and the chevron was down to 2.0 so the fuel dilution either brought brought this uh, viscosity down a little bit or it could be a combination of some shearing going on too the chevron i don't know what it started out as so it's 9.10 here but i don't know what the virgin oil sample would be i didn't have it tested so to me there really isn't that big of a difference between the mobile and the chevron as far as these numbers go on this oil analysis i think this engine likes either oil what do you guys think so let's take a look at the filter and see if it caught anything okay here's the filter all stretched out and she's 40 and a quarter inches long Pretty clean. Okay, and here she is at the seam. And I forgot to get the width. So I got a new one here. I got a new filter here you can check out. The width is 1.94 inches wide. The same filter is just a new one. And I got a little sample here to take a thickness measurement. See how I can do this right like this. Point seven six millimeters thick. Okay, so let's get down close. You can see there isn't much soot on here. Not much for sparklies either. There's one here. Um I can't even see it now. It disappeared. Look at them at certain angles and sometimes they'll pop up. See, I can't even see it. This might be one right here. Let's see if, see if it's magnetic. See right there. Get this to focus. Oh, you can see it right there, right in the corner, on the rim. 
So that one was magnetic. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's pretty clean. Not much soot. Actually, I'll show you what um, video I did with a Chevron. It had a lot more soot in it. I'll put it on a screen right now. But this one is this one's clean. Yeah, real clean. The mobile runs a lot cleaner. Well, the other, you know, the Chevron's a semi-synthetic, and this is full synthetic. All right, so let's look at the rest of this filter here. So you got the end caps plastic. This is all good. It's, it's not much to these things. Just goes together like that. O-ring. You know, they give you a new one, you just toss the old one away. And this one also just comes, that green one there, it just comes with it, new one. And as you can see in the box, there's a new one in there. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, this filter here. It looks pretty good. I'd say it did a pretty good job. Look, let's see if I can get that. I see something right there. I just saw it. That was right. It's right. Let's see. Right there. No, otherwise it would just suck it right in if it's not. All right. Yeah, very clean. All right, so I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday, I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.